I know and I've watched Murphy and I've raced Murphy and I know how he kind of swims it, but I knew that if I ever wanted to be anywhere near at least Austin, I knew I had to take it out a lot faster than Austin because I know he's probably the best swimmer, best backstroke swimmer I've ever raced against, ever um, competed against, ever trained with. And so I know that I knew that if I ever wanted any chance at a title, I knew I had to take it out balls blazing because I don't have what it takes to bring him back like he does. <laughs> Honestly, it I can't even put words into that, just how it describes like, the past two years. I've had that baggage of I've gotten from friends back home, from family, just <laughs> jokingly, but um, it's just it, it takes it takes a lot it takes a lot out of me, and so I always kind of had a hinge whenever doing weights, doing practice, anything L surreal. Didn't 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 seem real. Didn't seem real. Felt like I was still kind of just playing the race in my head. I mean, I don't know. He's he's like he's like my brother. I train with him every day. I'm with him almost 24/7 essentially. Um, I don't know, just looking up at the board. Actually, I really I heard John Shevitt, and in that moment, I was incredibly happy. It was like it, it was like I won because I don't know. I've seen him work so so hard all year and and the year before that, and I don't know. It's hard to put into words, but. I, I mean, I am and so like if, if there was, I'm I, I'm glad it turned out that way. You know, it was a perfect ending. I think.